the spread, stunts and a blitz. And then Carson got him inside, a little underneath to Fred Gibson in front of Charlie Pepper. Well, he looked good before the game warming up. I mean, I think he'll be fine. And he has normally been so solid. Welcome back, Billy Bennett. Yeah. Those punts went 20 and 26 yards. Here's Bold Freeland. And this one not terribly good either. And it is taken and dropped at the 38-yard line. That's a 35-yard punt. There is nothing on the return. Good news for Alabama. Ahmad Childress is in for Tatum, and he was the starter. Here's a play fake. Green comes out to his left, being chased, lobs it out. Caught Jeremy Thomas. Well, you have seen his first and his second catches of the season. And worth another mention that Reggie Brown, who has seven catches in each of the last three games, unable to go today to Georgia because of the poor hamstring. Here's Green across the middle, diving back, made it to 35. Tight end, Ben Watson. Spread formation now, Green behind J.B. Crosby. Down left, tipped. Ah, nice play. And a holding penalty is going to go against Georgia, but David Green did not see Jawan Garth coming in there. Antoine Odom, Max Gene Gillis working on it. Personal foul, face mask against the offense. The penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. Mm. Replay second down. That's even worse than holding. Three down for Alabama. See if they bring five. Nope, they bring three. Green got a man open. It's Watson again. What a presence he's been here in the first quarter. That is short of first down. Lee Jackson is the holder. Brian Jordan is the center. Boy, does that have plenty of distance. Whoa! He's back. Third and eight here. Here comes the blitz. And there's Thomas Davis. Oh, my. Got him with a one-arm tackle. This has been a less than successful part of Alabama's game, but this is a good one. There it is. Yep. Nailed that. Gary at the 15. And the all-time leader in punt returns for Georgia. Counterpunches with his 92nd career return. That's always fun for us, but that Texas-Oklahoma, that's a special one, too. And here is Michael Johnson with the catch. Michael Johnson, who normally wears number 23, is wearing number four today. Ball at the 39. And off Tyson Browning comes right. He's got speed. Spills. He crosses the 50. And the first down and 10 after the Browning run. Here's Green with a play fake. Little pressure. Caught. Damian Gary. And he's got another first down as he gets to the 38-yard line. That is a gain of 12. Wow. Well, they're going to let Billy Bennett try one from 52 yards away. His career long is 55. But how satisfying would this be for Bennett? And he might have it. <laughs> he has got it. A very draining physical game last week. Uh -oh. The block is on, and they've got it. That's a free ball. Thomas Davis has it, and that is a Georgia touchdown. It's the first block punt of the year. It's the second block kick of the year. Well, it was Jarrett Berry right there, number 85, who got the block, but they tricked him because they brought Jacory Bryant in off of the gunner, and that drew the block, and it opened things up for Jarrett Berry. Spencer Pennington getting his first start today in place of the injured Brody Coyle will scramble. And that's going to be close. Wow, he lost the football and his helmet. Well, for the season, Alabama hit its first six fourth down plays in succession. They were stopped in their last one, but they are seven of eight for the season now. Fourth and inches. Quarterback sneak? I don't know. Oh, I do not know. They he stayed up high. Yeah, they didn't get much push underneath. And I don't think he got it. Nope, they're not even going to bring the chains out. Look at David Parr. <laughs> He's a joy to watch. 
And D.J. Shockley is on a quarterback now. First time we've seen him in the first half of the last couple of games. And he's going to take off. This is the dimension he brings that David Green doesn't have. Mark Rick is just not so set on having to play D.J. Shockley at a certain time every game. He's doing it more by field. There's a quick throw back to Damon Gary. Browning got a good block in the corner. Wouldn't be surprised to see another quarterback draw here. That's Jamario Smith, number 37. Play fake. Wide open. That is Jamario Smith with a touchdown. That is the Veron Hayes play. Yes, it is. They worked on it on Thursday. It's an automatic check if they saw the defense they wanted. This has just been uh, an overwhelming domination by Georgia. On the fly, Robinson to the 31 yard line, picked up from Warriors Davis again. Second down. Second and 10, 23 3. Handoff, right side. Greg Lincoln diving. Touchdown! Nope. One official says in, the other says he's out of bounds. Yeah. Power formation with Lincoln running back. Gets a great block and strolls in untouched. Jamario Smith went down low on Charles Jones and cleaned his clock. And uh, an inductee into the 2003 Hall of Fame. Brody Coyle is on a quarterback now, first time. Separated left shoulder, pass incomplete. Intended for Clint Johnson. Flag down on the play as well. And uh, first and 20 from the 20. That's Sean Williams out of the backfield wide to the left. Here's Coyle. Fires it behind Sean Williams. Mix up. And, and Coyle's injured. Yes, indeed. Alabama faithful concerned now with their starting quarterback, Brody Coyle, back on the bench. Here's Pennington. Back in the lineup, heaves it deep. Nice catch. The catch is made by Triandos Luke after the 43-yard line. That is the first, first down of the game for Alabama. Not very good. On third down, Pennington across the middle, Triandos Luke. That's good for a first down. Sean Jones over the back with the tackle, but they will get a fresh series. When there's a lot of time left and you get down by a couple touchdowns, don't panic. Arkansas showed us that last week. Here's Pennington, right side. Gray Fulgen, who had two touchdown catches last week. And that is a third consecutive first down. That's a gain of 15 yards. And Gray fake, right side, man coverage. Thornton is there, flag is down. Flag is Catch was made out of bounds by Zach Fletcher. There is a flag in the secondary. Defensive holding. First down, 18-yard line. 3.57 remaining in the half. Stunts by the defensive line into the end zone. Oh, yeah. Touchdown! Touchdown! What a drive by Spencer Pennington. Lead is 20, high snap, controlled by Green. Screen pass, called, caught, Browning. He's dangerous when he gets in the open field, isn't he? Yep. Mark Rick saw Tyson Browning. said, there he is, Tyson Browning and the Georgia Bulldogs. He just shook his head and walked away. So embarrassed. Here's Green. He's got a man open. It's Johnson. Michael Johnson, who, if you join us late, is wearing number four today. On third and nine, here's Green. Got him. Antoine Odoms is having a nice football game. I mean, he is coming hard off that edge. And they're dancing around, coming now this back up. Personal protector for Georgia is the third string quarterback. That's Tereshinsky. Here's Ely Kelso. Sean Williams. Now that's a penalty. Yep. There is no halo rule anymore, but you have to give him an unimpeded opportunity to catch the football. Now the crowd will try and affect the play. And Pennington, boy. Pennington drops the snap, and it is recovered oh, by oh. Georgia. New opportunity now for Georgia. 
up by 20 at this point. Here's Green. Caught it at the 22, and let's go down to uh, Jill Arrington for an update on Brody Cork. Third and four. Green, who has been intercepted once today. Got a bit fortunate with that one. Quarterback draw. How about this for the base? Yeah. And that was by design, don't you think? Roll out, David Green. Pressure from the backside. Drills it. Caught it to three. Mary O'Reilly, number 80. He's at Green's left right now. That's Gary in motion. They look for Tyson Downey. Instead, find the tight end. It is a touchdown, Georgia. Ben Watson, three yards. Played the whole second half with the injury last week and threw three touchdown passes and almost won the game. Here's Pennington back and uh, connects with Folgen out of the right flat. That'll be down at the 30-yard line. Clock still running. Alabama with one timeout. Left. Just to follow up on that with Croyo, we mentioned that he originally injured it in Oklahoma. So he's he's played the whole season pretty much with a bad left shoulder. Was he going to injure it worse by playing today? Mike Shula didn't know. He got his answer in two plays, though. Third and ten. Comes the push. They got him. Thomas Davis who is the free safety and lines up as a rush end on third downs. And Pennington is hurt. He's so quick off the ball, he's anticipating the snap count, and that first step is what beats the tackle. Here's the punt, fair catch call. that will bounce away from Damian Gary and limp across the 25-yard line. Comes to a rest at the 23 and a half. That is a new regular season Alabama single-game record. Here's the punt by Elon Gelso, and boy, he nailed this. Sean Williams, boy, what a punt. Isn't that something? <laughs> that was a bomb. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jill. Sounds like you've got a walk-on roll in General Hospital. <laughs> Second down of 15 from the end zone. Pennington fires it caught by Brandon Greer out to the 27-yard line. He's on the near side. Here he comes, and the pressure from the other side is there as well. Fulgham to the 31. It'll be fourth down. A flag is down. And this is one of the only things that Georgia has done poorly today. Is I think that's their eighth penalty in the ball game. Sean Williams and Tim Castile are in the backfield. Here's Williams, and he's tackled by Derek White as he gets to the 40. But that's going to be good for a first down. Play fake, Pennington. He wants to go deep, and he goes deep into double coverage for Zach Fletcher. It's intercepted by DeCorey Bunch. First interception of the year for number 22. I say a lot of nice things about Georgia these days. Oh, that's, that's great. Right. Here's Gordon Eden Kelso, a low snap. He picks it up, and the punt. Sean Williams is back, grabs it at the 43-yard line, heads to his right, and is down at the 49-yard line. First and ten, ball at the 50, Spencer Pennington. And a quarterback started the game, gave way briefly to Brody Coyle, who re-injured his left shoulder and is out for the game. And here is Sean Williams. All right, Jill, that was their daughter, Samantha, who was three, who was also a part of the family picture. Second down. Sean Williams. Thomas Davis is on the edge again. Down the bottom of the screen. Here Look out. Comes and the blitz, and there's Davis, and it's tipped and almost intercepted. Tipped, and Tim Jennings was very, very, very close. The heading all the way to the end zone, and Pennington is hurt. Brandon Avalos, first snap for Alabama. Draw play. Sean Williams goes right, darts back to the left, struggles. It'll be fourth down and two. They'll throw it. Avalos's first throw is complete. How about that? Good for him. Lance Taylor made the grab. It's first down, Alabama. David Kevin, the tight end. And off. There's Hudson coming left. Hudson into the secondary inside the 20 and down at the 14 yard line by Odell Thurman. That's a 17 yard gain. 
four man rush. Here's Avalos, darts, stop short, ball goes over on downs. They ran the same play. I mean, I think that was the same play, but this time Avalos tried to run for it. And Tyson Browning, Jeremy Thomas in the backfield. Green rolls out to his right, fires it. Caught up at the 16 yard line. Second down and one. It's a long one at the 16 yard line. Green hands it off. That'll be good for a first down. I'll never forget the funniest line I ever heard Lou Holtz say about his time in Minnesota. He said, great people up there. Everybody has blonde hair and blue ears. <laughs> Intercepted. Picked off by Alabama. Charles Jones. Uh -oh. Wow. Well, well, well. Oh, David Green is just sick at himself. Ryan Bostic for the extra point. A 30-yard interception and the return for the touchdown for Charles Jones. Good job of holding, and the snap is no, the kick is no good. Bad snap, down low. McClendon picks it up. How many times did you see that? Yep. That ball bounced and stayed right there. So they know it can be done. Here's Green under pressure. Deep for Gary. What Damian throw. Gary, yes it was. What a throw. Blitz coming. Green doesn't see it. Got him. That came from Jawan Garth, number 42. And Shaw Williams. Who has been kind of quiet today? Always dangerous. He fumbled the snap. Pick oh, that has got it. Yes, they do. Oh boy, Jawan Garth has scored. Oh boy. Their offense hasn't been able to do a lot, but their defense scored a touchdown, and now their special team have scored a touchdown. I'd set up Shaw Williams on this one. I mean, I would let 21 get a good return if you can. I think that's what they've got in mind. Here's the punt, fairly short. Very short. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Now Bo Freeland, who's had one punt block and return for a touchdown, sends this one deep. Damian Gary awaits it. Flag. Well, that wasn't a very smart penalty there either. But they are playing more aggressive, more bump and run, more blitz. Up the middle it goes, Lumpkin. Out to the 40-yard line. Third and four. Here's Green looking near side. He finds Fred Gibson. That appears to be enough to move the chain. Somewhere between then and the end of this game, he's going to remember that that was the old hot nail booter. Lumpkin, big run inside the 40. That's a 15-yard gallop, and Roman Harper makes the tackle. Now Tyson Browning goes to the right, cuts back inside, and works his way to the 32-yard line. Spencer Pennington, his backup, injured right shoulder. Here's the handoff, Browning coming in. And let's see, I don't think he got enough. His knee may be ruled down short of up. There's the left foot spot. That's the desirable foot. Everything was excellent in the first half, but kind of sloppy in the second. Here's the kick. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a whole lot of Angus. That's a whole lot of angst. The lead stays at 14. First down and 10. Avalos, the redshirt freshman quarterback, hands it to Sean Williams. Got some room. That's Thomas Davis. And he knocks him out of the run inside behind the tackles. They've been pulling the guards, and, and they've been getting outside on the counter trap. 25 yards on the last play, first down and 10. Avalos, the third quarterback, draw play. Here's Hudson up the middle to the 43-yard line. Well, Eli Gold and Ken Stabler make up the radio Announced team for the University of Alabama. Kenny, of course, all-time great at Alabama. On second down, here's Hudson going left. Got a first down, and he's out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. Trondos Luke has kind of been the guy that's made some big catches on third down. Blitz on fourth down. Deep, incomplete. 
And the ball goes over on down. Let's see if Alabama's coming. They are. Ian Kelso. Fairly poor punt. Gerald Anderson, big guy hustling. He was in there on the pressure of the play before, and that time stripped the ball out, chasing down the quarterback draw. Fourth and five with a minute to go. Avalos, near side, incomplete. Tyrone Prothrow, the intended receiver, number four. On second down, David Green takes a knee. Mark Richt and the Georgia Bulldogs go to four and one. Overall, two and one. And Mike Shula and Mark Rick, two of the fine young coaches in college football, greet each other at midfield. Dogs won 37 23. Not that it was a thing of beauty.